Hey everybody, this is Big Dre 20. Hope all is well. Today we got the Terms MD 8000.1. This is the one ohm version. We got it on two Scar Audio VXF 12s. These are dual four. They're uh, going to be wired to one ohm to the amplifier. And I got them in a 4.5 cubic foot box tuned to 37 hertz with an 8 inch port from Big Ass Port. Go ahead and show you guys. I got videos showing this system two scar audio vxf 12s this is a test i'm going to be doing right now i'm going to try to find out how much output i can get through um clean the max i can get so i have my ac voltmeter here this is true rms voltmeter ac meter and i also have the dd1 now with these amplifiers you can go by the clip light but before making this video, what I noticed is um, I can go up to like 107 volts of AC output, but it doesn't really flicker the clip. The clip light it goes straight to a solid clip, and protect light comes on as well. And I don't want anything to happen to this amplifier. Um, a good friend of mine's, Chris, the one he, he has a uh, he had two of these MD 8000s powering four scar audio zvx 15s in this uh tahoe uh i got a pre i got videos of that set up if you guys want to see it but um he let me borrow this amplifier and i don't want to damage it so i'm going to go by just like every other amplifier i tested the distortion detector the dd1 so even though the clip light may clip a little bit afterwards but like i said once i go up on the output the gain on the amplifier instead of cl blinking clip which is right here most amplifiers blink the clip and then you can just kind of back off of the clip this amplifier went up to a solid clip and then protect i'll show you guys what i mean before we go ahead and uh do it with the dd1 before i set the gains where i'm going to have it so right now i'm using a soundstream vrcp aa 106f radio I have the SPL Labs USB, the same USB that I use to uh, meter and clamp my system. Got the settings, my audio settings, bass and fader, zeroed out, well balanced. Got the subwoofer filter at 80 hertz. Subwoofer level is at zero, it goes down to negative 10 all the way up to positive 10 plus 10 but we're gonna have it set to zero that's where it's clean at the equalizer up oh, seem like you gotta reset that everything is zeroed out on the equalizer it wasn't before but it is now so the loud I always make sure I keep that off because you don't want to distort the signal before you can reach your maximum output. In mines, radio goes up to 50, but it's clean at volume 48, and that's what I'm going to tune it to. The same I did at previous radio, uh, <laughs> previous amplifiers I tested. So right now, I'm playing 40 hertz continuously. You got to want to repeat. I'm going to show you guys what I mean about what I said earlier. So you can see now, DD1 distortion detector is on. AC, true RMS is on. Bass knob is down. Once we start going up on the bass. Get 90 point. I got it. Got it set to 90.7 volts of AC. And if you see on the distortion detector, it's blinking distortion. But on the amplifier itself, no clip or anything. So at 90.7. Now I'm gonna go up on the gain until we get a clip signal on the amplifier itself. To see what happens. 
See what I'm talking about? Clip, protect. I don't want this amplifier to damage. Instead of just going to clip and allowing me to back off, it goes straight to clip, protect. And that's with the amplifier at around 108 volts of output. I don't want to damage this amplifier. So I'm going to go by what this meter says, like I did every other test. And right now, we're at 90.4. Back off a little bit. Whenever you see the reset, it's because the track is starting over. It's not that that track is not that long. Still clean. We're at 90 volts of AC output. If I go up a little bit, we're at 91. And it's blinking. Let's see if I can get a little under. Still blinking. Eighty-nine is clean. So let's see. I'm gonna try to see if I can show both at the same time. Eighty-nine point five. I'm just slowly taking my time. When, it's, when the track is starting over, I do not want to mess with it. As you see, it's blinking at 90.2. Let me back off a little bit, see if I can get around that 90. Too low. Well, it's just. Flickering a little bit. Bear with me. So like I said, I'm trying to do everything one-handed at the same time. Okay, so 90.1 clean. So that's what I'm gonna have a set to. Because like I said, you seen what happened when I try to go by the amplifier. I went as high as 107, but it goes straight with clip and protect. And I don't want this amp to blow prematurely so we're going to set it at a safe moderate it's going to be 90.1 clean distortion light went out and that's where we're going to keep it i'm going to meter it and, and clamp it to see what kind of output we get so stay tuned for that hope you guys like what you see and as always peace and love thanks for watching